Something that I wanted to talk about on the iPad Air, the new one, 2020 iPad Air. Tech thoughts, what jingles be. Is that uh, it looks exactly like the iPad Pro 2018 and 2020, but it doesn't have Face ID. Which you might think is not necessary, but Face ID on the iPad is game changing. I would say it's uh, if you use the iPad in the Magic Keyboard, you, your hands are on the keyboard, right? So why would you you wouldn't want to go move your hands from the keyboard and go up and put your hands on the Touch ID? That that's uh, it's not ergonomic. Your hands are moving. Um, I don't think it's, I think the $200 difference for Face ID alone would probably be worth it if you're going to use your iPad like a laptop um, because it's it's just so nice. Your hands on the keyboard, you press the space bar and your iPad wakes up, it sees you, it unlocks, you push the space bar again, you're in. You don't have to move your hands up to authenticate, uh, it just works. Um, it's totally different experience. It's um, highly recommended. It needs to be considered when you're considering the iPad Air versus the iPad Pro, for sure.